everybody, I'm Cheryl Hamilton from Create with Cheryl, and today I have a really nice project for you. It's a Christmas card that um, I've done a technique called stained glass technique. It's basically um, heat embossing on vellum and then coloring the back of the image, and it makes this really pretty card. So um, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make this. To make this card, I'm using a stamp set called So Very Merry, and it, um, it's it got these beautiful images. This is a stamp set found only in the online exclusives, so it's not in any catalog, and I'll stick a link to it um, in the comments. And so the only one I've played with so far is the angel, and I really like it. Um, to start out, I've used Lost Lagoon, and this measures eight and a half by five and a half. It's scored right down the middle at four and a quarter. So let me just fold it, crease it with my bone folder, and um, then, oops, for the, I've, I have two pieces of basic white cardstock cut at, four inches by five and a quarter. And one is gonna be for the inside, and the other is going to be this image that, or this piece that I've, you know, Im I've stamped on it first and then embossed it. For the front white layer, first I'm gonna stamp the sentiment using Lost Lagoon ink. And I like, on photopolymer stamps, these see-through ones, I like to use this foam pad underneath. I think it helps it pick up the ink a little bit better. Okay, and then now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna run it through this embossing folder called Basics 3D. This is what it's like when it comes out. And um, it wouldn't work to do the embossing first and then try to stamp because it's too uneven. You wouldn't get a nice image. So let me go ahead and glue this. Okay, now it's time for our heat embossing. So to emboss, I've got my heat tool Versamark is what I use, and then um, a silver, some silver embossing powder. So first I'm gonna stamp on vellum with this pretty angel. I'm sprinkling on some silver embossing powder. If you haven't tried heat embossing, you're gonna love this. It's amazing technique. You know what I did wrong with this one is I didn't use that um, embossing buddy first. So that's gonna kind of mess me up. Let me see. I have a paintbrush. But it's still got a couple of little places that are ah, really hard to, that's pretty perfect. But um, normally, this is what you should do is rub this over the either your cardstock or vellum first. And um, it kind of takes off all the um, oils from your fingers. So it works better. Okay, um, I'm going to use a heat tool. And you can see how this works. There, do you see it start to go? Just make sure you got it all. Isn't that pretty? And while I've 
Well, I've got this on. I'm going to do the inside of my card, which was a little bird. If I could find it. I'm always losing stuff on this desk. I will do the bill because that's what I have. And I think it's fun to emboss it rather than just stamping it. So let me do that. Keep doing it until you see it change. And then make sure you get the whole thing. Okay. Um, so for my angel, I'm going to color the back. You could use um, Stampin' Bright markers, but I'm going to use blends because they're just faster, and I really like I really like them. And I have random colors. Um, I didn't I didn't have a Lost Lagoon, so I'm instead using. Um, I'll tell you what they are as I go. Um, let me see. I've got light and dark petal pink which you guys all have to have those that color. Um, dark Lemon Lolly, Light Pretty Peacock, and Dark Pool Party. So I'll speed this part up. Okay, now I'm going to use my two and three eighths inch circle punch and um, punch it out. Oops. Here I've got to trim it a little bit so I can get my punch in there. You see how it looks really nice now? It's a lot better if you put a piece of white behind it. Okay, go see how it is now, but look, you can really see it, see the colors better and stuff with a piece of white. So I'm gonna use little glue dots um, around the edge here, and I found that the glue dots from Paper Pumpkin, um, I prefer using those if you have them because they don't show at all. Um, our other glue dots, like don't put the glue dot in the middle of um, like this little really clear pink spot or something because you'll probably see it. But just put them around the edges. It's fast if you use the take your pick tool. If you use your fingers, it's it's a little more frustrating. So I'd recommend this. And then you just kind of knock off the, um, the top part. So you leave the sticky part underneath. Put it on the white circle. Um, then I'm going to pop it up on my card. These are dimensionals. Oops. 
There we go. Isn't that pretty? So now just to do the inside, let me color something. Hmm. I like these blues. So there's the pretty bill, and um, that's the stained glass technique. I hope you guys give this a try because it's pretty simple, isn't it? Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you got a few tips from this and hope you'll give this technique a try. Stop by my website at createwithcheryl.me for more inspiration. Aloha.